Hi all, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and um, I just got my second order of prototypes of stencils in this last week, and I wanted to show you some of them and what they look like. And because there's so many, I'm getting a little confused of what was the first order and what was the second order, but I'm pretty sure these are the, this is all part of the second order. So we have this, and um, I'm going to show you at the end, I'm going to put a collection of all the little stencils, the little short stencils I put together so you can see how they work. Um, but this one is the book stack, which I'm really pleased about. And the other thing that I'm really starting to be interested in is combining different stencils. So um, that's why they're set to the side because I'm going to do this and it takes a second because you want these to be a little bit dry before you put this on otherwise when if you push on this it'll lift off um, anyway I like the idea of creating stories and scenes and um, creating an idea with soap as a lot of you know <laughs> uh, anyway um, so yeah so this one let's see if I can find it real quick I don't know if I can Okay, here we are. This one actually has three stars in it, so it should go like this to a suit this. Now, in a perfect world, you just put it on your soap however you want it, right? But I didn't want the star in the center because his head's gonna fit there. If otherwise it would have covered his head and I didn't want that. It looked like he would have a pointy head. So um, obviously I just stenciled here, here, and here and left that open. And I'm very pleased with this. I like the idea. So I'm working on this one. I'm gonna put a, a different raven on there. And that's, I was thinking maybe that guy. I really like that raven quite a bit. I like the detail in his feet. I like the perspective of him. And then of course the book stack, I thought that was cool. So. Now I'm starting to theme my soap so that when I offer them that they're, you know, I could say they're all ravens or they're all this, and they might have varying variations of them with a crystal ball on here, but they're all going to be like a raven. So this is one of the other. I really like this hat. This took a minute to make. The stencil, not the, not the soap stencil on here. It takes hardly any time to do this, but... It took a minute to design that one. And this, I'm very pleased with this too. I really wanted all the details to come out of it and then not to be too fiddly. I mean, that is kind of a consideration. So let me, I, I'm hoping you can see some of these on, let me see here. So this is the stack. I know it's crazy, right? But I really like working with the supplier. They're, just my contact there is very thoughtful toward me and toward what I think is our needs for this process. So anyway, these are, and if you could see the water stains on here, it's like me testing the test. I'm, I've tested these many times um, in this material, which is a little bit thinner. This is a little bit stiffer and they're so much better when they're a little bit stiffer. Not that this is a bad thing at all. It's just that, boom, done, right? Anyway, so these are the dragon pair. Um, I got a lot of requests for the dragons, and I tested those, and those are very, so it even says dragon pair in the corner, like I've said in the past. That So, and then there's stars, which these are also very, that I mean, you could put these on a soap and be perfectly fine with them and then different colors of stars or whatever and then they also can go any which way like this. So that I'm starting to see different patterns and different possibilities with. I have a rabbit. I'm calling him the white rabbit because of Matrix. Um, this one is um, a real, I, I was really unsure about it. it it's Echinacea. And I've made it before, and you might have seen it where I mica the green uh, stems, and then I used fuchsia mica in here. That was from TKB, the fuchsia, by the way. And it really popped on a gray bar. It just looks really nice. And 
I've gotten uh, requests for botanicals, particularly from Joe from Australia, Joe Hausler. She uh, does the natural uh, colorants for soap, and she's written a book and working on her second one, which is awesome. Um, anyway, so yeah, this I just stenciled, and you'll see in the video after this video, I stenciled white on a brown bar just seeing what it would look like looks great so that is another option for discoloring fragrance oils the bars and then stencil on top of them so then there's something you know because i know i've used fragrance oils that discolor in the past and I, my colors just turn out muddy this is the leaf this is the house leaf i called it i have a house and a house leaf because this one could be a little bit more fiddly not terrible but one of them's uh, well you'll see it um, the cauldron right here. Let's see. Oh, it's a it's a across the room. Anyway, I just stenciled the cauldron on here. I think it's in the video at the end. Um, this is a flying dragon. I'm so pleased with this. It was you know a bit tricky. I had to go through quite a few processes in order to make sure that the pieces weren't too thin and everything sort of worked out. And so the the movement was still there, and um, you could tell it was dragon. So this one, one of my favorites, again, same situation. I was thinking about putting a break here, but I just didn't real, it's, this is a little fiddly, but it's so much worth it. And all you have to do is stencil this way and then take it off this way like this. So that's really not that big of a deal. I think the design overall is way better this way than having a break in the tail, so. And then of course we got some of these, the duck ones. I thought these would be much more sort of generic to come for the first few of the track, the tracks. I think they're fun and they're easy to do and they're quick and they tell a really quick little story. And then we have a gecko, which I'm very happy with. His little feet and there's just enough of his foot that makes it look like he's actually dimensional. So this is going to be interesting and I haven't done this yet, but to make a shadow of him and then to put him on top, I think could be really interesting. So I'm sharing my ideas with you all. There's a little tiny snail, which I love. He's so adorable because I have a sea life um, collection. And there's the cups icon. And this one, I you know, it's very similar. Like, so you have the um, inclusion and the uh, what's the word? I'm, yeah, the inclusion of the positive and negative space here to connect all this out. And so I was thinking, well, maybe I'd make a whole bunch of, because this is, I call this literally cups. Let's see, where does it say that? It says right here, cups. Because what, what I was thinking is making icons for tarot. And as I got into it, I was like, well, I can do the king, the queen, the icon for the tarot. And I have to recreate a knight one because the one I used, the one I've created doesn't work and the crystal ball that could be representation of that so anyway instead of making them for tarot even though i call this cups because this could be a king arthur theme it could be a lot of different things i just decided that i'm going to call them icons instead so there's that and then we have let's see here this one's the goat tracks thought the goat tracks would be more generic. Again, lots of people use goat milk in their soaps. There's a little bit of cardboard on here. These are the horseshoe tracks. I'm just reading the what it actually says here so I don't I know what they look like. And these are the sheep which I really like the the sharpness of them. Okay, and this one, ah, uh, look at that. It says pine tree large. It's very lovely. I th was thinking something like this, right? And then you could decorate the tree actually on your soap with little balls or colors or a host of different choices. So but you already have the tree on there because I've struggled with Christmas trees at Christmas time and I really like this the Christmas tree idea. I like I just like it and anyway I thought that would be kind of cool I hope lots of people get oh here's a small Christmas tree or a small pine tree I really like the shape of this one too and I thought that these could be used together to make overlays like this to make a forest so 
and there's just so much I haven't done. There's so much I haven't done. So, you know, I've tested all these out, lots I've shown, and this bird is one of my favorites right here. That is just spectacular. I would put it on here, but I'm, I'm committing this bar here. Wait, I could do this bar here. I'll put it on here. Oh, I have soap there. So, and then I've said this in the other video, but if you make a mistake, just start over. So you can just scrape it off and start over. It doesn't matter. So there's really little pressure to, so the wings right here, so the, the, uh, the stencil goes like this, right? And so what you want to do is go with the stencil, not away from the stencil so that you don't put soap underneath the stencil. Oh, I better put my my glasses on. Otherwise, I won't know what I'm doing here. And essentially what you want to do is tack it down first so that it just doesn't get all movie on you. <laughs> We don't need very much. Where's my water here? So I'm just going to put a little water here. And I just do that to soften it up to make sure. So if, if the, your soap dough isn't soft enough, then what will happen is it'll drag and you'll get white marks on there and it'll lift off of your soap. It, so it just, just needs to be soft enough to do that. I remember in the beginning of making soap dough, I was just like, oh, it's too soft, it's too sticky, this, that, and the other. And I was just wailing to myself, and now we've overcome that. Now we're doing all this other stuff. Okay. See, and it just smooths those lines out as soon as you put water on it. And one of the things too, and I said this in other videos, but I, it bears repeating, but you know, where the details are when they become, a, when it's a little fiddly, you really want to just make sure that there's not too much soap around it there. And then what I do is try to just wipe the lines down and there's enough ridges in your fingers that it pulls it and then it becomes smooth because we want that sort of magical quality. Now just for, because I'm on the camera, I wanna make sure it comes out. So I give it a little spray with alcohol. I don't always do that. I sometimes just forget and just pull it off and it's not a big deal. It'll come off, but I wanna insure it. So there we go. That, just super pleased with it. Like, so here's the other thing with the stencils is that I'm not offering stencils you can find just anywhere. You might find some of these images duplicated other places because if I can buy them, other people can buy them and use them for other things. For example, I bought a collection of dogs. So you have to buy the copyrights to them. And I mean, some of them are ridiculously expensive. And um, there's a whole set that, uh, that I'm thinking about trying to create, like draw myself. Anyway, so I, you know, I've purchased the copyrights from, some of these are free use. I contribute to different communities with my photography. In the past, I have hundreds of thousands of downloads from my images, so I know that I've contributed to the community. So I've taken those in, in, uh, in trade. I've taken stencils or uh, silhouettes from them and people offer them uh, freely for free use. And so I've altered them and modified them in order to make um, stencils. Anyway, because I felt like I understand, you know, what we're looking, well, I understand what I'm looking for and what would be best used for a soap maker. So, you know, you don't want something too tricky or too fiddly and you want something, for me, I want something that's going to make my soap bar unique. I don't want to just copy everybody else, but I also don't want to um, have to think it up myself every single day. I want to be able to like go through my list of stencils and go, oh yeah, I could do that. Or I can combine them. I can put two together and have a whole different theme, you know? So, um, and then here's the other part that I found interesting. So let's just say, um, your soap business is about 
birds or you have some bird theme in your soap business and you find a stencil that you really like and then you can put that on every single bar it doesn't have to be the theme of your bar but you could create the theme and on the back side put your bird so there's an option too and it doesn't even have to be the exact bird in your logo it could just be a bird to indicate for example I made uh, pineapple sage soaps and I put a B on every si in the corner of every single, a little gold B on every single bar. Just a reminder that behind sorcery soap is me. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I mean, there's so many thoughts and so many ideas that are on their way. And so that bird, I'm very pleased with him. We've got a little doe. I thought it only fair. I have a buck. I have a doe. And I know there's um, a handful of people that well, I don't know. I've talked to a handful of people that are in my sphere of influence of sorcery soap that hunt. So that's kind of cool. And then, okay, there's this guy. This is the one with the buckle. I really like that. Okay. We have a tree frog, which I think you've seen. So the tree frog is really fun too because you could do the same thing as the gecko and put a shadow underneath of it or even paint a shadow. You could put the stencil on it and then paint the shadow afterwards. And what I did was I um, stenciled the whole frog and then I put gold at his feet and made the, the top of him green. And you could do the opposite in order to create a shadow as well or create um, you know reflection, whatever. So here's the queen, and the king has more on top, yes, of course, but they're stereotypical of, uh, uh, what is the word, uh, archetypes, uh, and these are icons, so we're going to leave that, and then there's my crystal ball, and this bird, oh, super pleased with this bird, I made one and I stenciled them gold, and I just, I mean, I don't even know. I just put this, I was, you know, testing all these micas from TKB Trading and I put this gold on here and he just pops in every time I see him. It's my eyes are super attracted to him. And again, I love the dimension of these silhouettes. I mean, that's quite difficult to achieve. I mean, we could just do flat, right? This is a flat hat, right? But he, but there's a buckle on there. And so it kind of gives you an idea and this could be painted inside and all that. That's cool. But then to have the the movement in the story of the stencil, that's more like, that's a little bit more sophisticated and I'm, I really like that idea. And that's kind of where I'm starting to go with this stuff. So, um, more cats. I have a cat laying already, but this is a different type of cat laying, which I really liked. I thought more cats, better cats. Yes, everybody likes cats, dogs, bats. Just, I wanted to have, I have two two different bats. So I wanted to offer two different styles of bats. Squirrel, it's called Squirrel 2. I just thought he was cute. I like squirrels. There's an acorn coming too, so that helps. My quarter horse, which I've already offered and those sold out, so I thought I'll do it again. Because you know what? Quarter horses are cool. Some of my favorite horses I've ever met in my life are quarter horses. And not all of them are that pretty, <laughs> honestly. They're not, they have a straight neck and they just stand there, but they're so quiet and wonderful and, and quality. They're not flashy like the Ara Arabian horses or, you know, show offs like the Tennessee walkers, not that they're meant to be that way or whatever, but there's a couple types of horses that I really like. Gypsy Vanner is one of them. Um, Icelandics are another, I rode some Icelandics up in Durango one time and, oh, I got it to toll. I never rode English before, so that was a big deal. And then I got it to toll and it was smooth and beautiful and almost made me cry because it was so perfect. Like the, the moment of perfection, truly. So anyway, that was awesome. Yes, I have an affinity for horses. Okay. And then this lily. I'm very pleased with this lily. And there's so many choices with this lily. Like again, the other... Um, flower you can you know stencil i stenciled white here a little bit of gold for the center and then the i don't know if i put green but i think i put a different color for the stem and the leaves and uh, just so many donkeys donkeys are awesome another underrated equine donkeys and mules awesome i grew up with a donkey named of course eeyore and this cat i just love this cat i love how thoughtful it is how like it's focused but still calm another cat 
because cats are awesome. Dimensional again, so it looks like there's depth to it. I'm very pleased with that. I had, um, the, and here's the thing, I'm influenced so easily that when it comes to this kind of stuff, if I don't have any resistance, somebody said they wanted a hawk, okay, here you go, here's hawk. <laughs> one person, and I made all these, these stencils. But I thought if one person asked, other people might be interested, and I love hawks. There's a pair of hawks over on the abandoned golf course that we like visit every day. And we've watched them you know, come together. They're mated hawks. Uh, wand and stars and the stars can be used for other things and it's quite it's like a fairy tale so on one side you could use this and the other side you could use the fairy princess which I have coming anyway yeah so we see the hawks every day there's the books the book stack right here I was just so pleased with this does anybody knows books are beautiful so happy with this here I'll show you what this one looks like again Oops, the other way. I'm just so pleased. Imagine that, like you made a soap for your, well, there's very few librarians in the world now, but your teacher even, your teacher, your teacher's friend, a scholar, somebody who enjoys books, to get a, a soap with books on it. I mean, to me, that's very thoughtful, but anyway. <gasps> beta fish. Yes, beta fish. And I just think it's just, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm just very happy with the beta. And then, of course, we have goldfish, right? And we have a sea turtle. And scary pumpkin. I think this is going to be so fun for Halloween. I'm very excited to do this. I want to do just like, obviously, the, the easiest thought with this is a pumpkin's maybe or a, a you know a ha, ha what am i looking for fall i was going to say holiday and fall at the same time a fall scent right and i know exactly which one i would use fallen leaves from candle science is beautiful and a discolor so you'd have to use black but you could stencil orange on here right or you could do orange bars and just stencil black faces on them or you could do orange bars and stencil gradations of yellow and orange inside of the eyes. Oh, so many choices. I'm excited by that. Of course, my cauldron. I really like the iconic look of that cauldron. That makes me happy. Another bird, which I love the Blue Jay. When I did the Blue Jays a, a long time ago, the Cardinals and the Blue Jay soap, a lot of people had memories of Blue Jays about their parents passing and then feeling connected to them after the passing because they saw a Blue Jay. And so I thought this could be helpful. And I call it blue jay, and it could be, if you stencil it red with, you know, a little black mask, it could be a cardinal too, so I don't know. I have two cats. This one is a cat stretching with its nails coming out, and his tail is curved, and the other one has a tail this way. And I just think cats are, you know, there's a lot of people that like cats and dogs, and so I wanted to appeal to that so that I have, I mean, granted, it's so hard to pick what everybody will want you just can't you can't please everybody and you can't say what every single person will want so i'm cultivating a um a curated ideas of stencils that will work with soap which i hope to have a such an amass such a large collection that you can find something and then you can keep coming back to the library of them and find something that suits you because you know we grow we want cats one day and then we want something else another day or we'll go oh wait a cat with a crystal ball oh that would be cool right you know i mean anyway so the cat again dimensional easy to stencil that's the other thing too when they're just smooth like this they're super easy to stencil um no fiddly parts and of course a dog a labrador standing Labradors are just awesome, and they're just awesome dogs. So there you go. And then the last, last but not least, the pug. Because why not? I grew up with a, my aunt and uncle had a pug named Moose, and um, I never really liked pugs because of the snorting and stuff that they do. Their nose is their snotty nose sometimes but this pug moose he was a character and now the funny thing is, is they had many pugs because they you know get old and die and they were all named moose 
and they had like moose two through three or one through three it, it they just loved naming their pug moose so that's what they did and so er, you never had to guess what the dog's name was it didn't matter what year it was what age it was it didn't matter i just thought that was funny anyway so there you go and then i'll show you how to how i've stenciled some of these and i hope if you have any questions um and you get to see this whole list of all the stencils that are on their way and they've gone to production and I'm working on the third order, which the third order is going to include more things like, wait, did I submit? No, I submitted the third order. Haven't got the proofs of those yet. Fourth order, more things like Mama Duck with the three babies, which I find like interesting story in and of itself. And I just showed some pictures of the flock of birds, the birds on a wire, those are gonna go in there too. So there'll be a lot more of that type of thing. Um, anyway, so there you go. Uh, I know this went on at length and then I'll wrap it up and then you can see the other videos that I did. Okay, have a great day, thanks.